A Michigan AIM cat wrote us, your research work and the work of the miners has inspired me to research and create an expose on the leader of the Michigan Republican Party, Ron Weiser. He's on the board of the World Economic Forum and has been a leading Michigan politician in support of failed rhinos. He recently tried to take Macomb County from its grassroots leaders. And I was wondering if the miners might have some tips as how they're able to uncover so much otherwise hidden information. Do they employ a defined methodology, um, as I suppose an engineer like Mike would do? Do they just query and do deep dives on what they find? I will bet they rely extensively on resources I haven't even considered. Thank you for the work you do, and thanks in advance for any tips. We thought this was a very good question, and we wanted to share our answer with all of you because we all need to become miners now. We all need to be researching. Michael and Douglas have shown you over several years of the things that you can find out about a people and the corruption that may be in your very community. So this is the reply that we shared with this AIMCAT. The short answer is see what there is first, then follow those links to see other links. Start noting the interlocked relationships. Follow each of these until you find the devils and their dirty deeds and data. Keep a file of notes, links, screen captures on your journey in a Word file. That way, when you start preparing your write-up, you won't have to wonder where you got the earlier stuff. I would also add that many times we save documents as we find them, and then when we go back to source them again, they're, they're gone. They disappear because material is being removed from the Internet all the time. So when you see something, save it. Whenever you discover items being censored, that is a clue to focus on that item as it is usually a smoking gun for information the demons think they should hide. The demons usually hide a few layers deep, sometimes many layers. We only use uh, open source information from internet, libraries, archives, media, newspapers, genealogy. Some of it's free and some of it is subscription based. Then persist, persist, persist. Sometimes weeks can go by rummaging through information before a break occurs. You have to be patient and dogged. This process is not for souls that can give up easily because it's too hard. Another tip is to befriend a state library researcher. They can be very helpful in tracking down stuff for you. And they like doing it. That's what their job is. Don't be satisfied with evidence until it is judicially recognizable. That is, it is already so notoriously known or comes from a notoriously accepted source that it can be used in court without further validation. When you save files, start with the date. You start with the year, then the month, the day, the citations, the month, the day, and the year. This way, people can get a context date for the material. For example, here is a recent document we will be posting, and it reads, 2012-04. Blackstone completes acquisition of Ancestry, leading online family history business for 4.7 billion press release, Blackstone, December 4, 2020. The more of the subject you can get in the file name, the better. File names should be shortened if they get too long. And then you could go to archive or you could go to tiny URL. There are various uh, services where you can shorten that long URL. iPads sometimes have trouble with too long file names. Window PCs less so. Now note, all writing, speeches, and information posted by public officials and institutions is judicially recognizable. Make sure you present a proper bibliography for the citation, including the original sources and links where possible. Without the links, it is hard for others to do their own verifications. On anything you post, be sure to write, quote, reproduce for educational purposes only, period, fair use relied upon, close quote. This will keep you from trouble and accusations of copyright violation vis-a-vis -vis the fair use doctrine. So folks, hope this helps. The next and final step would be to find a reliable place to post your research documents. Um, and remember, you can always send your research here to AIM where we will post it on one of several of our blogs. 
You could also open up a Substack account and publish your work. It's free. And when you publish, you get a URL. And that's what you need to send out through places like Gab and social media to get your word out. So hope that helps and look forward to seeing you guys in the mines.